Yikes. Does, does Lima's shirt say Diamond because he's part of Team Diamond? I don't know. Is Lima part of Team Diamond? <laughs> Alright, so... Starting off on Smashville. Yep. This is a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty typical of this Again, game, especially. Dakpo has a lot of experience against Zero Suit. He plays the character, go figure. Uh, uh, also, Light the Lantern exists, and shots to Light. Mm -hmm. Although they normally go for and Diddy, but even still. And Diddy is again noted to be one of one of Zero Suit's harder matchups. Yep. I actually wouldn't mind seeing the Rosa here. Mm -hmm. Or even the Peach. I feel like Lima's Peach has done well against Dakpo. This Peach is so sick, dude. I feel like I'd rather see the Peach than the, the Rosa. I agree. I've had a very small sample size of the Rosa, but... Yeah. He feels less com It looks like he seems less comfortable. Mm -hmm. So he was way down, but now he's going to be way up. No, he's not able to connect that. Uh, yeah, the Dakpo was sitting, okay, at, sitting at a per percent where Lima wouldn't be able to connect a jump up air there mm -hmm. to keep it going. So he did the smart thing and just fell with another up air to get the damage. Yep. Great Ooh. pivot grab. Ooh, almost set up, narrowly whiffed. Uh, didn't quite react to the DI fast enough. Just a running up smash. Oh my goodness, Dakpo's a nut. Reading that rollback from Lima. The classics. Are the up B coming out? I feel like Lima recovers stage. using up B more than any of our other zero suits. Probably. Well, he's just recovering from like below the stage because yeah. Bayo. So it's like probably just more natural. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Two multi hits in a row that Dakpo was able to just fall out of the important yeah. bits. Yep. It will escape near death situations a couple times in a row, but. <laughs> I like the smash. idea there from Leo because a lot of Diddies, after they throw that the banana on the shield, they try to go for the grab, even though they're technically frame negative. Yeah. So Lima tries to intercept him halfway, catch that up B. Mm -hmm. But uh, will indeed be fast for it and. Lima was looking like he's gonna be able to take that stock really early, and now it's looking like it's gonna be a rough set. Great pivot grab. Gets that up throw up here for some damage. Stack post down air. He'll go for like one or two of those a set, really, but that back air is gonna take it on the side. And now Lima's at the fabled 1 1 1 percent. Lima got rage on his side. Yeah. Again, Zeus is one of these characters where, uh, they get the right percent with the right move. I like that he went. Oh, but Lima's going to die for that. I kind of don't like that he went for the Nair there. I feel like that was him not recognizing that he got weak hit down smash. Yeah. Which, if you hit with a very edge of down smash, that's always going to be weak hit. Um, you're not going to get a big punish off of weak hit. You get maybe dash attack. I don't think you can get grab. I could be wrong. Um, I didn't know this. But you definitely can't get Nair. Strong go. hit down smash, you can connect to Nair. Get some good stuff going. The princess. I think he just didn't react in time to realize what hit he got. The princess is in the building. Maybe he hoped too hard. I don't know. Peach coming out, though. I do like this. Yep. The princess Peach in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Toss that banana matters. down to get that punish. Quick 27. Yep. And uh, that's what we like. That's what we like to see. Nelly is playing much more patient than he was in the Zero Suit as well. Yeah, look at this movement. What is this movement? Lima's Peach is actually super sick, too. I love it. He called out the banana toss right there, too, with a fair, but he just misspaced himself. Yep. Blackpool's playing really well, but uh, unfortunately he's still down in some percent, but those one or two hits can even that back up really quickly for him. So. Lima's really good at using his movement in such a non-committal way to try to force stuff out of people. Mm. And on Peach, that's really important. Oh, yeah. I feel like Peach just exacerbates the concept. Mm -hmm. Gotta watch out for that crown back pro. It hurts. Oh my goodness. That was such a good trade. Yeah. We're Recognizing that on the top. only option that Dakpo had left was to start charging those barrels. Lima Miss tried to go for a setup there. I think he missed cool. footstool. Yeah. Either missed the footstool or maybe that was like instant. Uh, fastball in there that he needed to do. I'm not entirely sure. The Peaches have like a billion different setups for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like a lot of them start at zero, I think, so mm -hmm. it's interesting. 
I want to say they're all like kind of rage dependent as well. Maybe not. Um, I'm not gonna pretend like I know the most in the world about Peach because I just simply don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised Peach. if rage affected it heavily. Yeah, yeah. Peach is a nutty character. Yeah. High rage, I imagine the down tilt's not gonna set you up very well. Mm -hmm. It's gonna send him too far. Probably. Oh no. I don't know if Lima expected a roll there or just missed his turnaround on the grab, but it was really good pressure to try to get a grab after the down air. Yeah. Because a lot of the time Peach can just continue float, go for another one. Oh, oh my goodness, the double fair, that crown hurts a lot, but back row living and getting back to the stage. Wow, that up smash, that ribbon coming out, not quite gonna do the trick, they're not gonna land. And hey, remember how earlier you go. said Lima was playing extra patient? Now these buttons yeah, no. just keep flying. That looks like Light the Lantern took over Lima's body and was like, you need to hit more buttons! Or just Lima's Bayonetta. Play the game! And Lima's Bayo came back. Lima's Bayo was like, I, I wanna go home. <laughs> we can, let's go play Wi-Fi, come on. Dakko switching off, gonna go to Bayo. <laughs> no, he's, he's gonna go back to Zero Suit, yep. Interesting, we've seen two uh, Zero Suits recently. Neither were Light, one was Dakko and one was Lima, so interesting night. Sitting on that beautiful black Zero Suit, we have the beautiful red gown, Peach. Lima and Dakko going here on Dreamland. But, ooh, ooh! These short up airs. And they're throwing out that rainbows. Taste those Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Sponsor me, Skittles. Ooh. Beck was just trying to find a way in, and he was doing a good job of keeping them out. Just with the threat of hitboxes for the most part. So it's really interesting. Oh, that down tilt gonna lead to the fair, yeah. But not too much more. Ooh. Looked like Deku was trying to do a run back pivot grab, but just got the side beam instead. That was interesting. Le Lima just pulled out a. What? <laughs> Deku was running up to him. Lima just stood there, pulled out a oh turnip, and died God. for it. Lima pulled out a turnip, and then died for it five seconds later. What? That's a really hard. I could be wrong, but I think that's a really hard uh, flip kick to get. To get through the parasol? Probably, probably very difficult, yeah. I'd imagine. Oh, we have a Saturn on the field. Let's go, Saturn. Let him know. Oh, Dakbo perfect shield. That, that could have been game ending. <laughs> Dakbo does perfect shield Saturn. Dude, if I w Dakbo has nuts of steel. Jeez. Right? I wouldn't go for it. Yeah, I would, I would not try to perfect know, shield Saturn. Dakbo has confidence in his timing. Look at the... M Lima's getting something started. Dude, Lima's movement is sick. I like the implementation of a lot more Zares from Dakbo. Just... Super recently here Ooh. to try to stifle the peach movement. <laughs> the one hit of Parasol came out just to you know ensure the recovery was safe. Yeah, trying to thread the needle between Parasol and the hit Peach's body with that. Oh, the roll behind gonna lead to the up smash. We're going into game number four. And Lima's up two one. Oh, Lima rolled back behind Dakpo and then just ran to where the next roll was coming with that up smash. What a G. Dang, they're going right back. Yep. Game four. Game four on to Dreamland once again. Uh, Dakbo not uh, not through with how that last one went. Wants to get the run back on it. We'll see if he can get it. Or if Lima with a 36% lead already will uh, take this set. Winner plays Karna and Grants. Loser has to settle for third place. Well, if Lima got like a footstool off that, like down at a footstool, Dakbo may have just died. That would have been weird. But, oh, wow, I'm amazed that he threat? avoided him and yeah. then still connected with the up air. Huh. Lima, what I, are you doing? I think that drift, like, somehow got him right over the hitbox of uh, the down smash from Dakpo. Oh, okay. not avoiding that one, though, but oh, Dakpo no. messed up the punish. That was guaranteed, and Dakpo missed his punish. Yep. That's a yikes moment. Oh, my God. Lima just throws it down. Knowing that Dakpo is going to go for the lower side B. Wow. Interesting. Dakpo could have taken the first stitch. stock in this game. Would have had a huge lead. Lima drops the stitch though because the paralyzer does hit him. But uh, he definitely had one. So that could have been very, very spooky for Dakpo. So good good on Dakpo to get rid of it ASAP. Before, get, before he, even, he even got rid of it before he got hit once. So that's very good. But Lima's pull has been very interesting. Like tonight I saw him get a stitch earlier. And then he got a Saturn and a stitch just now. 
Saturn is such a one set across two games is, is nutty. Ooh. They're chilling. Oh, they're, they were like both throwing out a bunch of moves for five, seven seconds, but uh, none of them hit <laughs> wow. for a little while. That's one way to deal with a uh, fair dodge bait there and just throw out a fair. Just, just take off your crown and hit him in the face with just it, dude. Bob ZSS in the nose. Yeah, that's what I like. That hurts so bad. Wow, that's probably the first time this set that I've seen Lima go for that short hop air dodge mm. to try to get something going. I feel like that was like really early meta Peach stuff because the short hop air dodge positioned you really well for dare pressure. There's two wake up ups, uh, upbees, sorry, not up smash, but upbees from Dakbo. Gonna eventually get the kill and another stitch face! No, he threw, threw it forward away. instead of down! Yeah, he got the footstool off of the down air to. That would have been a free stitch down throw, but. Yeah. Yikes, dude. Wow. The Dakbo mash. Going. Getting him out of there. ASAP. Dakbo fighting for his life, and right now he's in advantage state, and Dakbo in advantage is very, very scary, and especially on this stage. That oh, was too... Oh, I don't know goodness. if that one wasn't guaranteed, but I feel like that's two really big drops from Dako where he yeah. could have just taken a really early stock. Yep. Some of the explosiveness of ZSS. Yeah, whenever you miss the, the confirms that will get you those early stocks, a lot of your explosiveness of the character, which is a lot of the character's uh, strong suits are kind of taken away from you by force. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it's just uh, your own misinputs or uh, misplays or whatever, whatever they may be. Dakbo, though, dash tag, probably not what he was looking for, but uh, he'll have to settle for that punish. Lima, though, 118 on Dakbo, the yeah. forward air is going to take the it. Jump. The crown does a trick, and now we're going to see, now we're going to see Karna come back, and will we see the uh, the zero suit? Right. I feel like, was it, the, was it the zero suit all set we want to see? I feel like we'll see zero suit.